Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today Apple released iOS 12.4 developer beta 2 out for the developers but everyone who's in the public beta can go and get it now as it is available for the public as well. This update comes just five days after the release of beta 1 and I'd like to talk about it as it is very interesting. But if you're excited for this video then you know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe. It's all greatly appreciated and it helps me out a lot. Now let's go and look at this beta. Now this is a very small update at about 80 megabytes and now I'd like to show you why that is. So if we go into the settings, we go into general and about and we go take a look at software version, we tap on 12.4 and we can see that we are running 16 G5027 I and the I is very important at the end. In the past we would have G at the end, this is the same build number as in beta 1 but we have an I instead of a G, G being a very unstable version so I is a little more stable than G. Now what does this tell us? Well something probably went really wrong in beta 1 so they had to make another release very soon and usually there's two weeks between releases but as you can see it's been only five days. It must have been an emergency fix however we don't know what it could have been. There were no FaceTime bugs or any bugs in general reported. However there are some things that I'd like to show you in beta 2 that I forgot to look at in beta 1. When you'd open up your wallet app this would be the launch screen you'd get which is new and this card right over here is most likely the Apple card that's coming this summer. So that's really nice and this was pretty much the main reason for 12.4 to get devices ready for the Apple card. Now another thing that I noticed in 12.4 are the animations when doing anything. They are smoother, system-wide and a lot better. After five days of use I also noticed many speed upgrades on this phone but the most visible change is on the animation when unlocking your phone. So let's take a look. Boom. The animation's a lot different for me at least. It unlocks faster compared to 12.3 and also this exact animation works the same way in your app store as it would on unlocking your phone. So these are some performance enhancements that can be pretty much because this will be the last update out of iOS 12. There's a little bug in iMessage. So if I would just start typing, so if I would type love for example, so this bug doesn't happen on all the devices, but if you look closely over here, so I typed love and it suggests emojis. Now it's on a phone basis, it doesn't say on which phones this is going to happen, but sometimes some people report that these suggestions would not show up and it would just show suggestions of words, which is something that we didn't see in the past. Another thing is a bug in your messages. So if you'd go this and hide alerts, it wouldn't work in beta 1. However, now it works, which is great. Also, do not disturb mode wouldn't be working really well in beta 1, but that's fixed now as well. So it is good to see Apple fixing small bugs like these, even though I think there was a way more bigger reason why this beta came so soon. Overall performance is very good. Battery life hasn't been really good for me in beta 1, but now in beta 2 it's a lot better. If we go into battery on the phone, we're going to see that I use my phone quite a little bit and the battery life has been really good so far. It seems to be as good as in iOS 12.3. Well, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe as it helps me out a lot. And also let me know in the comments down below how iOS 12.4 beta 2 is doing for you and if you have any issues or any bugs, I'd love to know. Okay, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!